welcome back to a brand new vlog. I recently did an empty house tour of my new beach house and you guys loved it so much. And a lot of you have asked me to do an updated Beverly Hills house tour since Nicholas moved out. So without further ado, let's get started. So as you enter the door, to the right is a dining room area. Now in this house, I have an open floor plan, kind of like the beach house, which I love so much. So basically this is set for six people. So I had these six chairs handmade and I made sure that I had the fabric match every single other piece of upholstered item in the house. Cause I like that. I like symmetry. I like everything to match. This table is sort of rustic. So I wanted a little Italian rustic look. So I went with that. And also I had the chandelier sent over from Paris and I just love that it gives me the feeling that I'm an Italian like villa. I love that. Also, I ordered this from Neiman Marcus and I just love the blue pot. And you guys know I'm all about faux florals because that's just who Nina is. I don't want to have to water them and they last forever. And I just think they always look so beautiful. But before we continue the house tour, I want to thank Italo Jewelry for sponsoring this video. You guys know I love high-end brands such as Chanel. However, I also like Bargain. So you can get that with Italo Jewelry. So first I want to show you my white sapphire diamond earrings. They're elegant, they're beautiful, they're just the right size, and they can dress up just about any outfit from cocktail dress to just a t-shirt and jeans. And what I also love about these earrings, they're so lightweight. I could wear them all day, all night. And look how gorgeous and sparkly they are. I'm like in love. So a lot of you guys might've seen this yellow cut diamond engagement ring in my previous videos. Look at how gorgeous it is. It's lightweight, it's elegant, luxurious at a very reasonable price. I've also been wearing this white diamond engagement ring. I simply love it. Even though it's a thick band, it's so lightweight and comfortable and sparkles with every outfit. And this ring goes well with just about anything. I could dress it up with jeans and a tank top or a formal dress. I've also been enjoying wearing these basic diamond stud earrings. This should be a staple in everyone's wardrobe. It is a must. I mean, I can wear this every day and feel good in them all the time. And what I love about Italo Jewelry is that they have a one year warranty. And what I love about Italo Jewelry is that they have a one year warranty they also do worldwide shipping so you can get their beautiful jewelry to you anywhere. Also, they have a 60 day money back guarantee. So if you don't absolutely love your jewelry, you can return no questions asked. They just really want you to be happy with what you purchase. I absolutely love the quality of Italo jewelry. It is exceptional and it does not feel inexpensive at all or look it. So this is Italo jewelry's website. It is so beautiful and they have a huge selection of amazing jewelry. So make sure you go in my description box, look at the website and use my code great 20 for 20% off to get your magnificent Italo jewelry pieces. And thank you so much Italo jewelry for sponsoring this video. I love, love, love all the pieces you sent me. And without further ado, let's go back to the house tour. Okay, moving on here. The reason I chose the blue on the bottom of this vase is because I had this ornate piece sent to me by a friend of mine who was traveling and I wanted to make sure that the two bases match. The few things that I have, I like to have continuity in it. All right, everybody, now let's go into my kitchen. So you know what I love most about this kitchen? It's so bright, it's so airy. I love how, like, if I'm at the sink, I get a beautiful view of the front of my house. I just love it. I love, I've always loved a really bright, white, sunny kitchen. Another thing that I love is all the counters are Carrera marble. So beautiful. I just, as, I just love everything so white and bright in the kitchen. Another reason why I fell in love with this kitchen is because of all the ornate work on the cabinets. Isn't that so beautiful? You rarely see that. And a unique feature here is that the microwave is right here. You see? Beautiful, right? It's one of those little drawer microwaves. I have little baskets here for things that I want to put. And look, I love even, look at how ornate this is and gorgeous. That's all hand carved. And I love the color of the cabinets. This is another reason why I love this kitchen because again, a bright white kitchen just reminds me of happiness and good times and everything so beautiful and wonderful. Now I replace the refrigerator here. And what I love about this home is that you flow from the dining room to the kitchen right into 
the den. And before I go into the den, you guys know to the left of me is Nicolette's old bedroom, which Blair has taken over now. She's actually sleeping. Yes, it's afternoon, but she's sleeping. Oh, before I go into the den, let me show you the guest bathroom. I don't know if many of you guys have seen this restroom. So this is for the guests. Of course, we have a gorgeous Louis Vuitton picture right here. And I love this dark granite countertop, which is so beautiful. The ornate lighting here. And of course, my faux florals. I actually don't think anyone's really seen this. I love this bag. I rarely come here and look at the, again, this is so beautiful with all the cabinetry, everything that's hand carved. It's just gorgeous. But these are all the reasons I fell in love with this house. As soon as I saw it, I was like, this is the home for me. And here's the den. And what I love about these sofas, again, I had them custom made because I want a deep sofa. See how deep they go? all the way down. You know, I, I don't like when you have sofas and they're so short, so I wanted really deep sofas so I could basically lounge as easily as I wanted and look at how much more room there is. It's basically like a bed. It's so comfortable. And when I went looking around for really deep, soft, cushiony sofas, I could not find anything. Thankfully, I found a store in West Hollywood that did custom designs and I took sort of pictures of what I wanted and I said I wanted this deep, I wanted this wide, I want exactly like this, I want this fabric and they did it for me. So that was great. Thank you so much. And this little area, I bought this table because it sort of matched the rustic look of the dining room table. Again, going with that Italian villa vibe. I love these orchids. Again, they're faux orchids. I love that. This is just so cute. I think I got that from Z Gallery. Of course, you guys know I love my candles. I have them on all the time. So this, you guys, is actually so cute. It's like a little um, wine storage. So let me, I have my Sonos up there, but look at that. You can actually put your wines in there. So it's so nice. And you can actually use the top of this for like a little picnic. So you can take this off, get a bottle of wine, put two glasses on here and take this around with like some cheese and some crackers. It's really nice. And we move right from the den into the living room. So this is the living room. So the reason I decorated it this way is I wanted whoever walks in to see two gorgeous big white sofas. Of course, I have these fluffy pillows, my little cute furry balls. And everyone asks me, where'd you get these from? They're actually from Paris and I could only get three. And if anybody sees them anywhere, can you guys please let me know because I really want to buy more. And they're all unique. Each one is this unique color. I have these gorgeous pillows here and oh my God, I always love a nice throw because on a cold night when you want to sit by the fireplace, it's just so nice to be able to throw this on you and just relax. When I decorated this home, it was about love. It was about comfort. It's about feeling a really calm and happy aura when you come here. And everyone who comes here, they was like, Nina, we love it here. We feel a sense of calm when we're in your home. So I'm so glad that is. I think a lot of it has to do with the white. And then we move over here. So I have my fireplace. I actually have to have someone come and clean that little area because it got so dark from all the wood burning. I am, I literally sit by this fireplace every single night. It's been so cold here and this warms me up so much. You guys know I love candles, so I have an array of candles. This was actually bought in Italy and sent to me as a gift. There's two of them. I love this very unique gold mirror. You guys know I love gold, I'm Persian. I would have gold everything if I could. And we have my beautiful faux orchid here. Again, another gorgeous one, gorgeous candle holders. I just can't get enough of candles. I think they bring such a good aura and sense of like happiness to a home, you know? <gasps> Let's not forget Mr. Plan. So I bought this at a closing of a store and there was only one left. I wanted to get two and this was the last one and I just bought it. It's been such a great purchase. Again, it's faux, how I love it. I'm not really good with plants, so I buy everything faux and it's just so much easier that, that way and it gives like a sense of greenery to the room, which is great. Now we're still missing something on the wall over here. And for five years, I still haven't found anything. You guys, please send me suggestions down below. I actually wanna get a horizontal gold mirror for here, but people have said you have too many mirrors. I don't think that matters. Or pictures, send me links to things you think would look really nice there. Remember, it's a big white open space. I've bought several things and it's always been too small or too vertical. So send me things down below, whoever owns like a mirror store, art store, something. So, oh. We can't forget this. So this is my infamous boomerang mirror where the girls and I always do our pictures, our boomerangs. And I just love this mirror so much. It's so detail oriented. I fell in love with the top of it. You see that? I love the ornate features in it. I love how gorgeous it is. 
I love that, the crackling to the side, and it just fits perfectly here. This is probably my most favorite piece in this house. All right, and one thing so nice about this, as soon as you enter, if somebody comes with a coat or whatnot, we have a little coat closet right here, which I have a couple of coats in. And then we put our shoes in there, the ones that we don't take to the closet. Really nice, it's just, I should probably have it more organized, but it is what it is. Then we go to the left side of the house, which is where I reside. A couple of steps up. All right, everyone, now you guys know this room as Blair's old bedroom, but now that she's moved across the house in the Glitz room, I kind of turned this into a little glam room, a little filming room. It's just so cute. I obviously love the flooring in here. It's different than the rest of the house. I have this little rack here, which before filming, I'll put some of my clothes up there. This was Blair's old pink sofa. I moved it here because it has a bright for some of my sit down videos that I do. I love the product picture above it. Here I have some of my filming gear. There is a closet and they're filmed with like accessories and all the sorts. I might turn this into more of a glam room. I haven't really decided, but for now I kind of like how it is. Sometimes I sit here, read, whatnot. And then I don't know if you guys have ever seen this. You might have. So this is Blair's old restroom and bathtub right there. Again, I love the white Carrera marble. Just so beautiful. And the ornate cabinetry just continues throughout the house. Really beautiful. And this is actually a Jack and Jill bathroom that goes from there into the other room. Really nice. And look inside the bathroom. The detail is just so gorgeous. Really, really, really beautiful. All right. So um, I have a TV here, but we never turn it on. We have a couple of TVs around the house, which we never turn on. And what I love about this room, that it faces the front of the house and it's just simply beautiful. And this gorgeous little chandelier, I just can't get enough of it. I love it so much. Now let's move on to the next room, which I have turned into my gym. Okay, now let's move on to the gym. But before I do, I wanted to, you guys always see this in the background. So actually my other favorite pieces are my three Louis Vuitton pictures. I bought these in Atlanta, Georgia years ago and I just love them so much. This is one of them. I'll show you the second and the third ones in my bedroom. Welcome to my home gym. So this used to be Blair's old toy room. And so when she was done playing with the toys, I donated all of them, except for a few for memories and whatnot. Um, I had this treadmill in the garage, so I brought it in here. And then I actually purchased the Peloton bike. And the reason I bought the Peloton, because I figured like I get a different cardio workout from the treadmill that I do from the bike. And I love the Peloton because you can take interactive classes on there. It remembers your profile. It's really, really, really nice. So on this side, I have a mat to do like yoga or like crunches, sit-ups on. I have the hand weights. And these are Peloton shoes. So for the Peloton, you actually need special shoes that lock in there. So this is for the girls, their size, and the larger one's mine. And I just have a TV in here. This one's actually working because once in a while when I'm on the treadmill or on the Peloton, I like to watch the news for a few minutes until it depresses me and I have turned it off. I always keep my workout shoes in here for the treadmill. The pink ones are mine, the blue ones are Nicolette's, and she's staying with me during the quarantine, so she has her shoes here. And now we're gonna move to the master bedroom. But before that, I'm gonna show you my second Louis Vuitton picture. Again, I love all the gold. I just love this rustic look and it's just such a gorgeous picture. Okay, so we have walked by this closet in so many videos and I wanna show you guys what's in there. It's just my water heater. <laughs> just a simple water heater, that's it. That's all there is in there. And this room is my most favorite room in the house. It's my room away from everything. So when there's chaos out there, I get to come in here, relax, and I just really love the vibe that I've set in my bedroom. So come on, come look at it with me. So this is my master bedroom. And what I love about it is that it has an indoor-outdoor door so I can easily go to the backyard, more so on sunny days. And I love the big windows so you can see all the greenery and look at my backyard. What I love most about my home is just so airy, so airy, so sunny, so beautiful. And it just makes me feel happy and giggly all the time. All right, let's move on to the bed. So I have a Cal King bed here, and I actually had this headboard custom made, and I did a white satin on it, which is gorgeous. I, you guys know how much I love these blankets, these fuzzy blankets. I think I got this from Restoration Hardware. I actually brought this rug from my country when I went back to go visit. 
Um, and this was right before I started dental school and my parents bought it for me as a gift for getting into dental school. And so I've had it ever since. It's really dear to me and it's going to be with me forever. I remember I went into the markets and I chose the color and all the scheme myself and I actually brought it back in my suitcase. So it's very dear and heartfelt to me. All right, on this side, I just have this little gorgeous table. And look, what I love about it is again, the decorative features are so cute. Also, look at these little birds. It's like these little birds on the side. There's one on this side, one on this side. It's just so cute. More faux flowers. And then I have these candelabras. So if I want more candles, I could just put little candles in there and turn them on for like a romantic mood. Also, what's so nice about my bedroom is that I have these blackout curtains. You see that? So basically, when I close this, that's why I sleep in so long, is that the whole room can go black, which is so, so, so nice. And it's essential if you want to sleep in. I have it also on that one, and it's great. And right here is my closet, but I'm gonna do a separate closet tour. So as you guys know, I love gold, and this is my other favorite mirror. I've had this for quite a while, and I believe I got this at, I don't even know where I got it but it's gorgeous, it's beautiful. Again, the ornate detail work, and I just love it so much, and I think it brings such a good aura to the bedroom. I have my nightstands here, and I have these gorgeous, gorgeous um, bedside lamps. Again, gold, the decorative work is just so beautiful, and look at the knob on top. It's just beautiful, and more faux flowers. I just think faux flowers add so much life. I just have this gorgeous chest of drawers, and look at the detail on it. It's so beautiful. The wood is just gorgeous, gorgeous. It's Italian made. And all of this is just so ornate and so beautiful. Now, last but not least, this is actually my most favorite Louis Vuitton picture that's out of the set of the three that I showed you two already. It's gorgeous. Again, it has this gorgeous detail-oriented gold. Just, it showcases some different Louis Vuitton pictures, Nice, Cannes, Vichy, London, Louis Vuitton, just beautiful. And I think it fits so beautifully and matches so well with this. All right, you guys, now we're gonna see my master bathroom. Welcome. So I love this bathroom so much, again, because it has the same theme of the white. We have the subway tiles here that are white with gray. I have a gorgeous bathtub and I love taking baths love love taking baths so it's so essential that i always have a bath and i have a beautiful shower here again with the overhead shower i love it because it has like amazing pressure really gorgeous again everything matches the same continuity of the white marble here and also look at all the detail on the wood same thing throughout the house i just love that so much and you guys that's my beverly hills house tour thank you so much for watching this vlog i hope you guys really like this i can't wait to do a closet tour for you guys so let me know if you want to see that make sure you guys like subscribe and leave me lots of comments down below i love mm, all of you so much and don't forget keep decorating